Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets. And today we're going to be talking about angels and demons and art. As always, in the descriptive box below, there are links to various websites for more information, including Amazon.com, that lists all the best-selling books in the San Miguel de Allende Secrets book series for sale. Following the conquest of Mesoamerica, the Spanish imposition of Catholicism thrived on taking what the indigenous already believed, then tweaking it some to make it Catholic. The afterlife is a theme frequently and significantly encountered in sculptures and ceramics of pre-Hispanic times. Now with the Spanish Catholicism, angels and devils became permanent features in Mexican art as representative of life's duality the indigenous adhered to. Basically, with the good comes the bad. The point was twofold. First, you had to die to be able to return to God. Secondly, if not in this world, you were headed off to the devil's inferno. Mexico's colonial era paintings frequently featured people filled with dread about hell. A fear of death was a popular theme in religious drama, poetry, dance, and paintings between the 16th and 19th centuries in which angels and devils fought tenaciously for the possession of souls. However, you don't need to go back in time to view devils and angels battle on art. <coughs> Bless me. A stroll down the artist market provides ample modern examples. Or venture out to a Toto Nioko whose famous frescoes always place a minion of Satan in every crucifixion story depicted to easily identify the baddie and that part of the story. So for example here is when Peter kisses Jesus and betrays him to the gladiators, though here they're depicted as uh, Spanish conquistadors to poke fun at the Spanish, but you can see the little devil's minion on his back there. Angels and devils have holiday mirth and Christmas plays, called pastorellas, where the seven deadly sins, disguised as devils, try to lead the pilgrims away from their trip to visit Jesus at his birth. Watch out for lust and gluttony, as they are always the funniest and always wanting more of everything. Inevitably, the angel St. Michael banishes the devil and his minions before all hold hands to welcome Jesus' birth and happy song. Also, Guanajuato is one of the two Mexican areas to feature the devil in the nativity sets. The devil is there realizing he or she or her she can delay the three kings no longer as the devil's distractions are why they arrive late. Perhaps the most joyful expression of devils and angels is attending a kindergarten graduation. They normally feature a play where a bull slash little boy in a bull costume runs rampant around town. The kids, nuns, police, and even St. Michael and the devil can't get him to leave until his mom arrives. Even a wild bull knows to do what his mom tells him, and he leaves as do the other child actors with their mothers. Blending Catholic elements with ancestral concepts from the pre-Hispanic past meet on a common ground that angels and demons still dance around. As always, feel free to click on the subscribe now button below and you'll get automatic notifications of new videos as they're released here on the channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets.